A day off from school. Have letter number 5706. July 9, 2016. Every student loves a snow day, an unexpected day off from school. An unexpected day off from responsibility. What has changed? A day is a day is a day. Yet, when you get a day off, you may feel that you have won the lottery. What has really changed is that you expect more joy now. A day in Earth terms is 24 hours, yet now you have a bonus. The idea of a day off lights your fire. An ordinary day has suddenly become a marvelous day. It takes so little really for you to be happy, doesn't it? Somehow we want to make it so every day is a day off from strain and what others may want of you or even demand of you. You would love some days just to be. What is all this about fulfilling other people's desires and little left over for what you personally desire? No one may have asked you what you want. You yourself may not know what you want and what makes you happy. You know a lot about what doesn't make you happy. Here's one word that makes you happy, opportunity. And what does opportunity mean? It means you are free to explore, to wonder, to ponder, to find something today that rewards you for simply being you as you are and you as you desire to be. When was the last time someone wanted to hear what you think? what you really think and not what Copernicus or some expert far away from you thought once upon a time. You would like to know what you think. What would you like to happen today? What would you like to come across today to fill your heart and not require you to meet others' expectations of you? Where are all the true friends that you are supposed to meet? Where are they and when is that day? Where is unlimited joy? When did joy seem to be squeezed out of you? When did life seem to leave you high and dry? When did you become a lone wanderer with a lump in your throat? When was the last time you had a real laugh? When was the last time you jumped for joy? Where did your enthusiasm for life on the hoof, as it were, seem to go? Living life is joyful. Planning life takes some of the joy out of it. You want to live life. You know you do, even as you're not sure you are a fan of life. You may find yourself not wanting to be productive, or you may just want to be creative and to find yourself going in a new direction altogether, to somewhere you have never been or even dreamed you would ever go. You would love a day off from road questions and road answers. Ah, now you know what you want. You want a day off from routine. You can't comprehend how people in the old days apply themselves to work seven days a week every week. When people worked hard and didn't ask themselves if this work is what they really want to do forever and a day. People just took work on as theirs to do. They never had the luxury to ask, is this what I would really love to do? They put their shoulder to the plow and served. Their personal satisfaction wasn't primary. They were glad to have work before them to choose to do. My children do not always have easy decisions to make. It seems that some of my children must have their heart's fulfillment while others can mosey along without it, not claim it, and not feel bad about their responsibilities. In some aspects, life in the world is like pure chance. Sometimes life seems to be divine intervention, where you may be blessed to find one dream come true, and you don't know how it happened. Some dreams come true. Some do not. Remember that there is more to life than what you see. Nevertheless, life carries you in its arms. It could be said that life leads you to victory. Life itself is victory. It is victorious to be alive. You were not born for nothing. You were born for something. You were not an afterthought. You are my reason for being. You are also your own reason for being as part of a mighty throng. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org